what a beautiful day so everyone I am the panda photographer and I want to talk to you guys about gimbals now recently someone asked me a question about gimbals and that is does gimbal do gimbals actually stabilize footage and the answer is yes but you may be surprised how much stabilization gimbals actually offer now I'm using the smooth Q with my iPhone 6s with the wide-angle lens with some camera hubs to stabilize the weight for the lens now when I am using Pro Movie, which is the app that I'm recording this on, gives me the flexibility to use shutter speed, ISO, white balance, and exposure, lock focus, and 1080p, 4K. But when I am using the gimbal, I notice that when I'm calmly walking, as we are doing right now, it is smooth, very smooth, right? But once you start pushing it by light running or extreme running to catch any b-roll that you want the the problem is that if you are using stabilization with any software on your phone or with any uh recording app like the pro movie or film what is it film filmic or movie pro did you realize that it's actually cropping slightly to help you stabilize the footage. Now, some softwares do not perform as good as others. Now, I actually disabled the stabilization with Pro Movie, and the reason is because it crops my image slightly to compensate for the stabilization. Now, in this shot that we are actually having this discussion about gimbals, it's pretty smooth but once I start running that's when you're going to see some micro jitters or some micro shakes or you might see some shake in your footage when you buy a gimbal or if you are interested in the gimbal keep in mind that gimbals do provide some of the stabilization but it's up to you as the videographer to take the time out to practice with your gimbal to know how to work and handle your gimbal now I'm not saying that gimbals do not stabilize footage. I'm saying that gimbals do provide the tool for you to use to stabilize that footage. But as the videographer, you also have to put in the work. So you in the gimbal are in a relationship. It puts in 50% of the work and you put in 50% of the work. That's what it takes to be a great vlogger and a good videographer. Take the time out. All gimbals are not made the same. All gimbals are made differently. Some are cheaper than others. Some have better build quality and better motors. And the reason why I'm using Smooth Q. This was what? A, this is $140 at the time. Now it's $100. And at the time of this video, uh, the Smooth 4 and the Osmos 2 is going to be released at the end of this month, which is April. And those ha must have better motors and beta stabilization now keep in mind like i said all gimbals do provide stabilization but you're going to have to add some stabilization if needed and post now you can do after effects with warp stabilizer which i only recommend eight to ten percent now i also recommend using after effects to add that stabilization to your footage now keep in mind if you are interested in buying a gimbal for your login, you are going to have to practice and practice and practice on how to handle that gimbal for better and smoother footage. It's not going to just out the box give you stable footage all the way through. You are going to see micro jitters and micro shakes and that is what you have to realize about using a gimbal. As I said, all gimbals are not made the same. But, if you are interested in a gimbal, keep in mind, these are the, the downsides and these are the good sides about it. But I don't see really a downside to gimbals because gimbals do have a disclaimer saying that you may have to add some stabilization and post. So keep that in mind. All gimbals are not made the same. Keep that in mind. 
So, with that said everyone, gimbals do provide stabilization, but you also have to put in the work as well. The footwork, you gotta know how to tilt out, tilt in, know how to do the pan shots. You gotta know how to do it all. So, with that said everyone, I'm the panda photographer. I'm only trying to provide content that makes sense. And before I go on my journey, because I'm walking from here all the way to Vancouver, wish me luck. <laughs> but it's going to be a journey. I'm going to take some photos, some astrophotography. Yes, it's time to do some astrophotography. I miss doing astrophotography. But if you guys want to see more of my videos that I have on this channel, do hit the subscribe button. It really helps me to grow on this platform. Hit the notification button to see more content. Share like the, the video if you like it or if you want to share it but if you do want to support this channel there is a paypal link down in the description below it really helps me out especially when i'm actually traveling by foot all the way to vancouver it's going to be a long journey but it's going to probably be worth it great amazing photos as a photographer and great amazing footage as a videographer Thank you for watching everyone and taking the time out to understand what gimbals are actually really designed for. And this is Gimbals Explained. With that said everyone, eat, sleep, photography, videography, and repeat. And I will see you guys in the next video. You guys take care. Happy shooting.